Okay, so in this uh, video, we're going to be talking about something that I've not really seen demonstrated before uh, in all the Ink Stitch videos that I've watched, and I think this could be super helpful uh, because I literally have worked on this probably for two days. So, so, um, but I'm I'm happy to report that with a little bit of information from others that are more knowledgeable than I am, I was able to gleam together what I need to do, and now it's going to be super, super simple. So um, that's like most things. You know, most things seem complicated until you actually know what you're doing, and then guess what? They're not complicated, actually. So let me show you what we're doing here. So we're going to grab our pen tool. And we're going to start, and this is important to kind of keep all this stuff in mind. We're going to start here at the top and come down. So let me let me show you some of the things that I discovered. And then, then we're going to do the bottom. And then we're going to do the top. And we're going to do the bottom. We're going to do the top. And we're going to do the bottom. Now, what, my, what I'm after is I'm after those three pieces to be satin stitches. And I want a little thread jump between those two points. That's it. That's all I want. Is that asking too much? I don't think so. All right. So we're going to select those two. And we're going to combine them because they need to be combined to define our satin stitches. So we'll, we'll do that real quick. So those are now combined. So you see this is what's going to stitch first, second, and third. We're good to go there. Let's convert this to... Uh, stitches, uh, satin stitches, so extensions, ink stitch, and params. And we're going to go to satin column, create uh, custom satin column, and you can see what our issue is here. So by default, this is what we get. Okay, we get this um, this, this thread shim happening from the top to the bottom, from the top to the bottom. I just thought that's, you know, to me, that's kind of interesting. But obviously that thread jump is not what we're looking for. So let's go ahead, let's go ahead and apply and quit. And then we'll kind of show you what the next problem is. Well, the next problem is there's a, there's a tool here in Ink Stitch. So if we go to uh, Ink Stitch and come to Tool Satin, Auto Rotate Satin Columns. Now let's see what happens. We'll go ahead and hit Apply. Now visually at this point, you can see a little dashed line was added, but we can't really see until uh, we could have uh, used the Live Preview option. But we'll come to Ink Stitch. We'll come to Visualize. We'll come to Simulator and see what the result is. It's not going to give us exactly what we're hoping for. So you can see there it creates that satin stitch. It has a jump from the top to into this piece and then it has a jump from the top into this piece. It's that top jump that we do not want. We do not want that top jump. So how could we define this a little bit better. Well, there's probably a couple of things we could do. We could edit this so you can save this file as a machine format file. So like in my case, I have a brother machine, so I could save this as a uh, PES file and then I can bring that PES file in and then I can modify uh, the stitches. Uh, within the software. So that would be one potential solution. But let me just show you something that I that I discovered that may be of interest or may not. So let me just back out of here to where we began. So just in all my playing around to, to figure out exactly how the software functions, I learned something. So remember when we started, we started at the top. Well, this time we're going to start at the bottom. Okay, and then we'll do the top. Here we're going to start at the, the bottom, but we're going to go from this side. So we're going to go kind of the opposite way. Okay. And then again, we're going to start from the bottom. 
but now we're going back left to right again. Okay, and so again, we're going to just select all these and we're going to combine each one. And then get that. And then let's go ahead and convert those to satin columns. So we're going to go to params. And now we're going to see where those thread jumps are happening. So satin column, there we go. And notice now that the thread jump is happening from the bottom. Let's back that up just so you can see exactly what I'm talking about here. So it comes down, but look at where it finishes the satin and then the thread jump. You see that? Finishes the satin there and then boom, it jumps. And that's exactly what our expectation is. And then it's finishing the satin, that last satin stitch, and then boom, it's jumping to that next point there. Okay, so let's go ahead and apply and quit. Now let's double check. Let's let's select all this, and let's come up here to uh, extensions, ink stitch, and we'll go to. Uh, Tool Satin, the auto rotate satin columns. We'll go ahead and hit apply. Uh, let's go ahead and do live preview too. You know, that didn't give me what I expected, but that's okay. Uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and hit apply. And we'll just close that out. Okay, so now we can go to extensions, ink stitch visualize we'll go to the simulator and take a look and see if we ultimately got the result that we were looking to get so yes we did get it here it is jumping where we need it to jump but here it's not jumping where we need it to jump because it's jumping from the top of this um, instead of the bottom so that definitely is we want to we want to jump from the bottom so that creates a problem for us so uh, so anyhow I'm just gonna back out one so uh, all we need to do to fix it and it just seems a little bizarre I don't understand why it really works that way uh, in the real world to be honest with you <coughs> I would probably modify the stitch file. I'm going to show you how to do that momentarily, but um, but anyhow, so what I did is, remember, we, we started from the bottom and, and came this way, and then we did the top line. I just reversed that. I started the top line, still going the same direction here, but I started at the top instead of the bottom, and that will that will change where that start and stops at that point. Hopefully that makes sense. You'll see it visually here in just a second. So we'll go to params. We will set that to the custom satin column. Ah, see, I did screw up because I didn't set. So let's cancel that. I did screw up. That's going to stitch first. This is going to stitch second. And that's going to stitch third. So that's how we want it. So go back to extensions, ink stitch params. Custom satin. You see it did jump from the bottom. And now you can see it jumped from the top to here. Okay. So that's okay. We're going to run with that and see if that's going to fix our problem. So let's go ahead and choose apply and quit. And then let's go to extensions, ink stitch, tool, auto, auto uh, route our uh, satin columns. And we'll, then we're going to just see if that gives us what we're looking for. 
a little bit finicky, a little bit playing around with stuff, trying all these different settings. Like I said, I've, I must have tried 15,000 different settings. I forgot all the settings I tried. But you can see it is jumping right there like we like we expect it to. And this is not happening the way we expect it to. And I do know why. Um, I do know why. Let's back up a second. And the reason it's not doing that is is because and this is this is all good information because you may run into a similar situation. So remember we set this to satin column, satin column, and then we re we recreated that object, and but then we selected all of them and converted to and 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 we're going to convert all of those to satin column at once. Well, you actually can't do that. This has not been converted yet, so that's why it didn't stitch out the way we expected it to. So anyhow, so if we go to extensions and uh, We'll go to ink stitch. We'll have to do that separately. I'm, I'm almost certain that was the issue. So let's take a look here. So uh, you see there, it's not it's not set to it's it's set to a running stitch. So um, even though in the preview, yes, it showed us that that it was in fact satin. It's not. It wasn't. Um, so that's kind of interesting. Um, so so now all of those objects are really uh, satin stitches. Uh, then we're going to come back down here to tool satin. We'll auto uh, rotate our our uh, auto route our our columns there, and now we can see. Go ahead and close, and now let's see if we get our expectation. So there you go. It's coming along. It's coming along beautifully. It's jumping at the bottom. We'll create that little jump stitch. And notice that it's jumping from the bottom instead of the top. And so, boom. There you go. That is how to fix those little minor issues. So now that this is correct, it's not jumping precisely at that closest point. But that's okay, because then I'm going to show you kind of the next step there. So we're going to just create a new document. And then we'll hit File and Import. So I'm going to save out my PES file, which is my stitch file. And then I'm going to import that PES file. That will give me my stitches. So I can take a look at my stitches right here. And we are going to have to ungroup everything because it comes in grouped. Uh, and then I can come in here. And you see that that is now basically a path. So I can see, see I just double click. That gives me my nodes. So we're in our node tool here. And if I double click on this line, that's going to create an additional node. And you see now that jump stitch is going to go right along there. And uh, that running stitch is going to go up there. And then we're going to do the same thing down here. We're just going to double click. Create us a node. So I can control exactly where I want that to be. And there you go. So now when I go under ink stitch, uh, visualize and simulator, So come along there, little jump stitch at the bottom. Let me back that up just a little bit here so we can see that happening. So we're coming down. It's going to finish that satin stitch, and it's going to come straight down. That run stitch going to go all the way to the top. Come back down. Finishes at the bottom, jumps to the next, and finishes that out. And that gives us the exact result that we were looking for. So now I can go ahead and resave this as a PES file with those slightly modified stitches there. And it stitches out exactly the way you would expect it to. So I hope that helped you uh, 
with an issue that I was really struggling with now for two days. And I thought, man, this thing is so simple. And it is if we just have a better understanding of how the software functions and what these different things do. I didn't have any idea what what they were supposed to do, how they were supposed to work, because I never really saw it demonstrated. So there's the demonstration. Thanks for watching.